What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to rank some brand new MLB jersey designs by our friend Alex over on Instagram. But before we get into the video, I'm going to need you guys to go down below, hit the red button, like the video, turn post notifications on so you guys know when I'm putting out some great baseball content. And also, go give Alex a follow down below on Instagram. I'll leave the link to his page in the description if you like his stuff. He does some great jersey designs as always, and I thank him for letting me rank his designs. So let's get into it. All right. Coming in at number five here on the list is the LA Dodgers. Now, you can see here that this is not the normal Dodger colors. No, in fact, it's actually LA Lakers colors, okay? This is a tribute to Kobe Bryant, the late Kobe Bryant, of course, the basketball legend and icon uh, for the LA Lakers, a big celebrity, was a big celebrity, and frankly, still beloved over in Southern California and across the world. Now, he did a tribute to Mr. Kobe Kobe Bryant by making this LA Dodger jersey. As you can see, he's using the Laker colors, the yellow and the purple. He has the black as a main color for the jersey. I like that. He has a KB right on top of the Nike logo. He has 824, his two numbers. Um, the number two there, I'm not sure what number two means, but he has the LA Dodgers logo on the other side of the jersey. The only reason why I have this at five is because I don't see the Dodgers actually wearing the jerseys and honestly that is the main factor when it comes to how I rank jerseys. Would the Dodgers actually wear this? They might in batting practice you know as a tribute because they are cool but I just do not see the Dodgers straying from the classic blue white and red even if it's for a special tribute I just don't see them doing that so that's why I have it here at number five. All right, coming in at number four is the Colorado Rockies. Now, this one, you know, it's kind of similar to what they kind of already have. A solid purple has the white pinstripes, a Colorado across the front of the chest there, and it has a cool Rocky Mountain logo, kind of like that. And, you know, the reason why I got this at number four is because I feel like the Rockies already have a jersey similar to this in real life. I feel like I'm thinking of their home alternative jerseys, the purple ones. Am I right? I think so. Now, the two things that are different between the actual alternative jersey and Alex's design is that Alex incorporated that Rocky Mountain High logo on the arm sleeve there, but he also incorporated pinstripes. I love the pinstripes. So, I think Alex's is really good, better than the actual one the Rockies have, but, you know, once we get into the next couple jerseys, you'll see why I have this here at number four and not higher on my list. All right, coming in at number three on the list is the San Diego Padres. The jersey, the color, the brown, I kind of like it. It's kind of like a mixture of what they have today in the throwback from the 1980s. Of course, this gives me 1984 vibes. I like the brown. I like the light brown going around the neck there and down the button lining there. I like it. I like the piping over on the tip of the sleeves there. Gray, the yellow, and the dark brown has a swing and fryer over there as well for the patch. I like it. This design goes perfect with their rebranding of the throwback browns. I could see the Padres sporting this any day of the week in real life. All right, coming in at number two on the list is the San Francisco Giants. Now, the Giants jersey, it's black. I'm a sucker for black. I don't know why. It looks really good on most jerseys. I think any team can make a black jersey work. The Mets jersey works. Mariners jersey works. Marlins jersey works. And this one works. I really like it. You know, it has the orange piping down the front of the chest there and around the neck. Giants in off-white San Francisco logo over on the sleeve there. I like it as the piping on the tip of the sleeve there as always. I love that about him. I love the black. I love the black. I could see the Giants wear this on Friday nights at home. I like it a lot. That's why I got it here at number two. All right, coming in at number one here on the list is the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now, this one, at first, I was going to put this at, like, number five. But you know what? I looked at it more, and I like it. 
The reason why is because it has the modern red of what the Diamondbacks colors currently are, but it also has images and throwbacks of what the Diamondbacks wore in like 2001 where they beat the Yankees in the World Series. It's that type of font. I mean, the number looks exactly the same as what a number would look on those throwback jerseys from 2001. He has the teal incorporated. I'm a sucker for teal piping on the tip of the sleeve there. I like it. It, the off-white piping down the front of the chest there. It gives you a really, really cool desert vibe because it has a sandiness in there with the off-white and the red of the hot sun. I kind of like that. I could see the Diamondbacks wearing this as well. I could see this being a home alternate. Fridays, Sundays, whatever. I like it a lot and that's why I got it here at number one. So that's all I got for today's video. Comment down below your thoughts on these jerseys we went over here today. What would you change here on my list? I'd love to know down below and as always like comment and subscribe turn the post notifications on because i'll be grinding all off season long all the way into spring training and as always i'll catch you later